What up, YouTube? It's your boy K Dash, and um, I just been playing with this. Not even playing. I've been trying to get this manual focus right for like the last five or ten minutes. It's a task when you put yourself in manual focus and you buy yourself because the autofocus on the GH5 just ain't all that. But before we even get into this video and what this video is about, let's roll. So, it's your boy K-Dash, and this video is really, it has no substance, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I'm just rambling, talking on. I'm going to drop a couple of jewels, so you might want to pay attention, but if you was looking for like a tutorial video or something like that, this ain't it, so you can click off if you want to. But anyway, getting to it, Um, you see, rocking that, that Savage Hearted tank top double cup you know what i'm saying send me a message or holler at me on instagram or something and grab you a tank but um i just want to bring y'all up to speed on what i've been working on what i need to work on coming up and i really don't have no excuses as to why i haven't dropped the vlog i just really need to get in the habit of being more consistent with my vlogs and you know, not letting my regular daily life oversaturate, you know, me getting the vlogs done. So I ain't got no excuses for y'all there. I'm gonna just try to do better. Um, but it's June, 2019, and I need to work on a couple of things. I need to drop some new gear for the Savage Hearted clothing. Definitely go check out the shirt that we dropped last month for um, Cinco de Mayo. But um, it's summertime, so I want to do some new swim trunks. I got some on right now, but I don't feel like standing up doing all of that. Y'all can go to the website, check out the Savage Hearted swim trunks. We got them in red, and we have them in black. Um, so coming up, I'm about to do, matter of fact, where's my phone? I'm about to do, it must be in the room. Well, I'm about to do two new designs. Matter of fact, let me get my phone. Uh, hopefully, I don't get out of focus. Because, yeah, anyway. I want to show y'all one of the new designs that I'm about to drop for the Savage Hearted clothing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm from Houston, so we, we really big on this Houston culture. And, you know, it's just certain things that or certain slang words or whatever the case you make. Hold on, see, I gotta make sure that I'm back and focus. I think that's right. Yeah, that looks about right. So, you know, we ride slang, we, slangers. We ride swangers, slabs, pokers, super pokers. You know, we all, it may sound like I'm speaking French to some of y'all, but this is actually H Town terminology, you know what I'm saying? We, we we holler at boppers and all this other stuff. So <laughs> get familiar. Do a little Google research and get familiar with the slang. So I'm saying that to say this. The new shorts that I'm about to drop is going to have a swinger on one side. And then I might have like money coming out the pocket on the other side. But that is the swinger. I don't know if that is too bright. If you can make that out. But that's one design. And then I'm going to do on a different pair of shorts, the skyline of Houston, but it's going to be nighttime, a nighttime skyline. Um, and it came out pretty clear. So I've sent the, um, the artworks over to my designers, my manufacturers, and oh, here's the nighttime. So this will be on some shorts as well. Um, all of the photos, all of the pictures that I have on shorts are all photos that I've taken myself with um, my production company. So y'all make sure y'all check that out on IG at Directed by I. And you can also click the link in the bio on IG to check out the website. Check out some music videos that I've shot, um, some photos, so on and so forth. So we have those things coming up. And... Next month is, I have a sneaker summit, H-Town sneaker summit. That's next month. So we'll be there. Definitely come by, check out our booth. 
you know, grab you something while you're there. Um, so right now I want to do a little bit more accessories. The last accessories that I dropped was like the pop sockets, the wristbands, and some other things. So it's time to do some new accessories. I don't really necessarily know off the top of my head what new accessories I'm going to do. But I do need to do some new ones. So if you got any ideas, definitely drop them in the comments. Um, I'll give you a shout out. I might even just send you a free accessory because I used that idea. Uh, what else is new? I have some music videos coming up for my production company, but I'm just waiting to secure the contracts so that way we can start shooting and, you know, coming up with the treatment with that. But right now I'm just really heavy on this Savage Hardy clothing. I appreciate all my supporters that's been supporting the brand from day one. I appreciate all my people from YouTube, you know, my people from YouTube. We're about to hit 200 subscribers. It may not seem like a lot to some. But it's definitely a lot to me being that I have another YouTube channel that I've had for over 15 years and that channel just barely hit 100. So to start this channel roughly over a year or two ago and to be at 200 subscribers and I haven't been posting consistently as I should, um, I just feel as though once I get to a consistent pattern of posting, the channel will really grow. But I want to say salute to all my day ones that have been following the channel from day one y'all have the notifications on so you know when i post y'all check out the videos y'all give me feedback y'all give me thumbs up i appreciate that it goes a long way um what else what else when i submit my orders for these shorts i always do um additional items and especially when it comes to myself I'll do some custom one of one orders so that way um, uh, I'll do some one on one one of one order so that way I'm like a walking billboard. It's my clothing brand, so I'm gonna walk around wearing this stuff, right? And depending on the feedback that I get from what I have on, then I'll know if I should mass produce this or, or not. So um, that's pretty much what I do. Like I said, I'm a walking billboard. So I have like three or four different designs that I haven't shown anybody that I will be getting some things pressed up for so I can rock it. And then based on the feedback, I'll know to mass produce it or not. So that's pretty much it. Um, one jewel that I want to drop, and this is for the people that's thinking about starting a business. And um, yeah, the best thing I can say is when you're thinking about starting a business, the business I believe that will make the most money is a business where you don't have to buy nothing. That sounds crazy, right? Because everything that you sell, you have to buy something in order to sell it. My clothing brand, I have to buy the clothes, press them up, sell the clothes. Nike, they're going to make the shoes, they're going to sell the shoes, but they have to buy the material unless they're making the material. Chick-fil-A, they're going to buy the food, sell the food, but everybody's shoveling out money to buy something that they're reselling, right? However, there's companies where they buy nothing and they sell you a service. So that's all profit. Let's take Uber, for example. The people that own Uber, they're not sending their cars out to drive you from location. They're making you or someone on someone that you know. I'm sure by this point, everybody knows somebody that they know that drives Uber. They're using their personal car, giving Uber a percentage. They're keeping a percentage and Uber's just running the app. That's it. Same thing with photographers. That's why I love my production company, I Open in Production. Don't get me wrong, photographers and videographers have to put money in the equipment, but once you buy it one time, that's it. You really don't have to upgrade your equipment until it's outdated, which roughly is probably gonna be like a year or two if you buy the latest camera when it drops. You may be able to get three or four years use of it use out of it before you have to upgrade a lot of people they think that they have to have the best camera the best this a lot is up here you know with your creativity i've seen people shoot a great music video with a t3i and somebody have a uh gh5 and the video is all right so creativity goes a long ways but 
like I said, brainstorm. You think about what business you can create that it doesn't require you having to shovel out money for a product to resell. You see what I'm saying? So if that makes sense, just think about it. Hey, if you end up coming up with something and it really benefits you in this video, kick started that idea for you definitely consider subscribing to the channel give it a thumbs up tell your friends about your boy it's your boy k dash i ain't got nothing more to say check out the website i'll let the kid i'll